Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a requested video which is my top 10 fruity perfumes. So fruity perfumes are pretty popular, there's quite a lot of them out there, but most of them tend to have like one particular fruity note which is the primary like fruity note in there. So I'm gonna um, go through all different fruits and tell you like which perfume has that fruit in so you can pick your favourite and try it. So I'm going to start off with one which is probably a little bit of a wild card um, and not one you'd be expecting. So um, first of all I'm going to go with kiwi fruit and the fragrance that really has kiwi fruit in the best is Britney Spears Fantasy, the original perfume that she released. So she released this back in 2003 and there is a reason why it is still sold in pretty much every perfume shop all these years later. It is a good perfume. So even though like the bottle looks quite tacky and it's obviously a celebrity fragrance and Britney Spears at that, it is actually a good perfume um, for two reasons. The main one being that it lasts really, really well. So you can just spray some sprays like on your hair, on your clothes, and that's it, you're done for the day. Um, really good for going out at night as well because it's got those fruity notes in. So kiwi is the main note that you get in this perfume. Um, there's also lychee in there as well, but it's primarily kiwi. The other notes are like vanilla, cupcake, so it is quite sweet. It's quite a young, girly perfume. Um, but I think, you know, you can probably get like a full size one of these for maybe 20 quid. Um, or you can spend 100 quid on like another one, which probably won't last as long. So I actually think it's really good value. And if you like really sweet perfumes and really fruity perfumes, then this is actually a really solid perfume. Okay, so the next fruit is cranberries. And the perfume that's really good for this is the Ralph Lauren Pony Collection number two. So they released a pony collection of four perfumes, um, I think blue, green, pink, and purple, or maybe yellow was in there. Anyway, the pink one um, tends to be the best seller, and it is primarily cranberries, like it literally just smells of cranberries. It's really fresh, um, really good value as well, and I think if you're a cranberry fan, then this is definitely a good one for you. So that leads me on to number three, which is the cherry um, fragrance note. And number four in the Ralph Lauren Pony Correction is the purple bottle, and that is primarily cherries. So it's a little bit darker than the pink one, a little bit more like subtle, but they're still super fruity. So you've got cranberries number two and cherry number four. Definitely check them out. If you like Ralph Lauren, they're quite a cute little bottle to have on your dressing table. and and um, quite good value for money as well. So number four is the Apple Fragrance Note, and this is probably the easiest one to guess. So DKNY released their Be Delicious range, which looks exactly like an apple, and is apple green. Um, there's a red apple, there's like a green apple. Um, they aren't particularly good at lasting, they're not particularly good perfumes, but they really do smell like apple. And another good one for Apple is um, Nina by Nina Rishi. Again, shaped like a red apple with like the circle on top and a little leaf. Um, I would say that this is maybe slightly better at lasting than the DKNY Be Delicious, but the Be Delicious one is more apple-y, whereas the Nina one has other fragrance notes in there, um, whereas Be Delicious is basically just apple. So it depends how much apple you want in, <laughs> in your fruity fragrance. So number five is mandarin or um, orange. So a really good one for this is Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. This is a really good seller. I think it's the best selling perfume of the Juicy Couture range. And one of the main notes that you get here is that mandarin orange fragrance. Um, it's also quite sweet perfume as well. So you get like a caramel fudgy type fragrance in there as well. Um, as you would expect from a Juicy Couture fragrance, it is quite young, um, but and it is quite similar almost to Britney Spears, I would say, fantasy. But it is good, it's good for lasting, again, quite good value. Fruity perfumes tend to be cheaper than other 
like perfumes I think mainly because they're they tend to be aimed at a younger market so they make them a bit more affordable so definitely one to try if you haven't tried it. it has a bit of a cult following people that wear Viva La Juicy tend to like always wear it and it becomes like a favorite so definitely check that one out if you like oranges mandarins so number six is pomegranate and one that's really good for this is bright crystal by versace so i love the crystal bottles from the versace range i think they look really cool on a dressing table really over the top um, and this is the pink one. Now, this is a quite a fresh, quite a pleasant fragrance. You've got lots of cranberry in there. There's also a bit of lemon. And there's also a floral note, which is some peony. Um, so this, to me, smells very summery, very fresh, really good for spring. Um, and yeah, I think it's a really nice gift as well, because I can imagine, like, everyone, like, unless you're not into sort of flashy stuff then I think this could be nice it's a cute bottle it's quite an inoffensive smell um, and it looks fancy you know it's Versace but it's actually quite reasonably priced um, but yeah you get the cranberries in this one um, so yeah a good one it's been out for quite a while now as well so it's a consistent like stable seller I think so next fruity note is pear and one that's great for this is Yves Saint Laurent Mon Paris. So this perfume it has also has like raspberry, strawberry, as well as the pear in there. It's really quite fruity. It's um, a little bit more expensive than most of the other ones that I've mentioned so far. And it's quite a new perfume. It's only been out a few years, I think. Another one which is good for pear is um, Jimmy Choo Eau de Parfum. Again, this has like pear and I think raspberry as well. Jimmy Choo and Yves Saint Laurent Mon Paris are very similar fragrances. Um, I really like both of them. I really like that pear flavour. Though the Jimmy Choo has, is maybe a little bit sweeter maybe? Or it's kind of like a praline carrot toffee, I can't remember in there. But um, basically they're both really nice. But they're both a little bit more expensive than the other ones. So perhaps um, they're sort of aiming at the sort of 20s, 30s market rather than like a teenage market, like something like Britney might be. But both really nice perfumes and again really nice as gifts if someone likes fruity perfumes. So next fragrance note is coconut and we are back to the Versace and um, Crystal range. So Versace Crystal Black Noir, so this is the black crystal um, from the range. This has tons of coconut in it. It's really quite a deep, um, I find it a little bit sickly smell, um, but it is one of those ones that has quite a cult following. Um, people who love coconut, like buy this perfume, are obsessed with it, can't stop wearing it. Um, and it has got those like, some, it reminds me of like, almost like sun cream, even though the bottle's black, like it looks very like wintry. Because it's got coconut in there, it makes me think of summer. It's also got some heavier notes in there like ginger and pepper and um, there's a floral gardenia note in there as well. So um, it is feminine, it's just quite like dark and moody coconut fragrance. <laughs> so number nine is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue and this is for lemons. So this is a very sort of Italian Amalfi Coast. Um, like fresh Sicilian lemons in your perfume fragrance. This is what Dolce & Gabbana were going for with this. It is quite an oceanic fragrance as well, so it's not just citrus, it's also got more like um, those kind of oceanic type tones to it as well. So imagine that you were eating a lemon out on a boat in a lake in Lake Como. This is what that smells like. Um, it, you know, it's been around for a while, it's got a good following. Um, is it a particularly great perfume? Not really, it doesn't last very long, um, but it is very pleasant and again, great as a gift, um, especially sort of spring, summer time. And number 10 is Raspberry, and a good one for this is Lancome Midnight Rose, Tresor Midnight Rose. This has loads of raspberry in, as well as some rose notes, as you'd expect from the name. Um, some people find this a bit sickly and overwhelming. I quite like it, though I couldn't wear it every day. It's more maybe like an evening perfume, because perhaps it would get a bit much, especially during the day. But I really like it, I like the bottle, um, I think it's different. It's kind of along the lines of Yves Saint Laurent, um, 
Mon Paris and they even look very similar bottles like in colour um, but it's just more like raspberry, raspberry, raspberry and um, it's almost like a sweet raspberry, like a raspberry syrup like um, rather than a fresh raspberry it's like a sickly raspberry um, but if you like raspberries then you probably really like this um, and again it's more towards the higher end of the like price point so that's it for my rundown of fruity fragrances i hope you found this video useful if you did then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you want to see more perfume reviews i'd love to have you here on my channel that's it for now but thank you so much for watching and bye